Anyway, so I'm going to quickly do my daily challenge before I start this video, so I'll be back in like two seconds. I'm going to do 26 more laps right there in three seconds. Um, hey, what's up guys? So what you're about to see here is actually me killing Iron Dragons in that um, that one dungeon that they added for uh, the resource dungeon, whatever it's called, for uh, Dungeoneering. I'm not sure what level you need. I think it was like 70-something. I think it was around 70-something because I remember doing this on my newbie account when I could first go in here. Um, I did my Slayer task here, but yeah, anyways, um, in this area, there's a lot of, uh, steel and iron dragons, which you can also cannon, and it's multi, obviously. Especially now, it's multi because of the issue of combat, but I'm pretty sure it was multi before that. But anyways, my, my friend showed me this, uh, what's his name? Sadistic, 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 yes, him, okay, thank you. I think iron dragons were a little bit under 100k an hour, but now they're around 120 to 140 doing this method. And as you can see, I kind of recorded to see how long it took me to get here. It took exactly two minutes, basically, to get here. I bought an energy potion just in case if I uh, would run out of energy or anything, but I, I basically made it. But yeah, I always thought it wasn't really worth coming down here just because of how far away it was. Kind of thing, like, you know, how long it takes to get there. Um, but yeah, it's quite easy, especially if, I mean, if you can't make house tell tabs to go to Brimhaven, I guess you might want to put your, uh, your house actually in Brimhaven, then this might be one of the more valuable teleports. I mean, I used to always have mine entirely, but for my, for my tree run, but now that you can just, you know, use a lodestone, it doesn't really, uh, you know, save any time. I never had my house in Yandel. I, underst I don't really understand why people have their house in Yandel, like, there's nothing significant about that, like, I don't understand. I mean, I guess way back in the day, that was the best place for, like, prayer training, but who the fuck runs from Yandel to the house, like, <laughs> house tabs? The Saint 05, I'm sure we can all afford a house tab once in a while. But yeah, once again, you know, <laughs> I proved myself right. There's more and more stuff to learn from Slayer. Um, newer and be better methods for everything, basically, even in where you kill them. Um, what I've also heard is, uh, so you guys know how a long time ago I saw these botters killing the, uh, those black demons with magic, because it seemed like they were hitting quite high on them. Well, I tested that out with a cannon, though, which probably wasn't the best thing to do because I almost died a few times. But if you bring a pack yak with some food, you're good to go. Um, but yeah, I tried using Blood Broger or Soul Split, and it feels like I killed Black Demons exactly the same speed as I as I would with Pernix and uh, the duo Kiata Crossbows. That's another method I might look for uh, for testing out in the future, unless you guys really want to test it out for me, then I don't know, I can like your video or some crap. But yeah, anyways, um, I want to test it out in one of my videos later on. Um, I tried it out, but I don't really feel like recording. Uh, but yeah, it feels like it was it was okay. I mean, I guess if you want to train uh, defense or, um, I guess, magic, because you can train defense with range as well, which is what you probably should do for that task, because I did almost die a few times. It's probably because I'm using the, um, the subjection armor instead of the... Uh, Pernix, which is why they hit so high and act like so many times on me. Holy shit, better do an anti-fire. There we go. Yeah, I almost died doing this task like four or five times with this stupid anti-fire. I never paid attention to it. I should always anti-fire whenever I jerk my overload, but I know that you don't have to. You can wait like another minute or some crap, so I don't really want to waste any anti-fires. Uh, but at the same time, you almost always die. Now, if, I'm going to say if I was to have like 60 Iron Dragons, I probably would not come here. I'm pretty sure you can get like 60 around that. If I have a very low number of them, I probably wouldn't bother coming all the way down here. It'd be too much of a bother for no reason. Uh, if I have like 80 plus or 75, maybe that's probably the cutoff point for me. I'd probably bother coming down here, but if you have like 60, it's just like, you know, it's quick 10-15 minutes. There's no point of running because two minutes of that time will just be running and you won't really save any time. It'll be really annoying having to teleport and run around and crap. Plus, if you die here, you're kind of fucked. You gotta run all the way back. And if you, I've died a few times in Cradle of Dungeon when I was AFKing, and it takes like five seconds to get back, and you just get all your shit and keep going. But yeah, I know when this dungeon first came out, and me and Lamar were both like, wait, 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 is this 99 smithing for free? I remember we used to, uh, we used to think that, you know, there's all these anvils around and crap, and there's all these dragons, which basically means, you know, unlimited supply of bars if you kill them. And we used to think, like, this is the best way to get 99 smithing for free. That was before the Dicer days, though, you know, then, yeah. Anyways, I gotta say, I'm still uh, enjoying Slayer for for the most part. I mean, I, I, I've gotten crashed like once or twice during my uh, task, and I met this stupid fucker that was like, he brought like his friends to my freaking Black Demon task, and they all set up cannons, and like, all I had to do was world hop once, and I just don't see how people still do this kind of crap. But yeah, anyways, it's the kind of shit that you gotta go through, I guess, for being a YouTuber. I don't know. It's all good, though. Called over some bitches, and I got real happy. 
But yeah, I want you guys to go look at the, my lead on Robbie right now. It's quite awesome. I, I mean, I, he didn't quit, but he has been kind of slacking for the past like week or so. He's been doing like bonfire fire making with some C2 crap. Um, so it's kind of good. Uh, basically past Telmo by now. Um, what will I have? And um, now I guess I'm kind of probably looking forward to, uh, to King Duffy. So yeah, we'll see him hopefully in like a few weeks. Maybe even a month, I guess. But yeah. Anyways, another interesting thing actually I thought about. Um, there actually didn't notice there was an anvil actually now right in the room. I'm not sure if this was here before. I swear to God, there this anvil was only in one spot before, which was like the entrance of this area. But um, so yeah, and these things aren't uh, aggro if you don't have like a cannon. Like the, you know, you won't be getting uh, maltied, so you can just kill one, pick up the steel bars if you want, and you can make some steel plate bodies. Now this is not very ideal, but what you could do is you could do that, and then you can even elk the actual uh, plate body. I don't know. Just thinking that could work for some for some money making, but I don't know. Twitter most smithing now is is now officially profit, guys. You it's profit. You you pick up the bars, you make the plate, and you alk it for like one point something k. Oh. I love all bitches. Round square over bitches.